In the previous episode of Android Testing Patterns, you learned the basic espresso test flow, finding a view, performing an action, and verifying the result. Things get a little more complicated when testing a screen that contains a list view, which can be backed by an adapter with tens or even hundreds of rows. Most of the time, the view that you're interested in might not even be on the screen, as adapter views only show a small number of children and recycle child views as you scroll. Fortunately, Espresso already comes with a solution. Instead of using the onView method, start your search with onData and provide a matcher against the data that is backing the view you'd like to match. Espresso will do all the legwork of finding the row in the adapter and bringing it into the viewport. Let's look at an example. I'll clone our testing samples repository from GitHub and open the Espresso data adapters sample. Here we have a simple activity showing a list view populated with 100 items. The list view is backed by a simple adapter where each row is a collection of key value pairs, stored as a map. I'll switch to the test class now. You can see on data in a helper method that is used throughout the tests to locate a row in the list view. Has entry is a standard Hamcrest matcher designed to work with maps. Here, we're using it to search for rows whose text is equal to the given argument. If I go ahead and run the tests in this class, you can see that Espresso is scrolling the list view to the desired position before performing actions on the rows. If your adapter view items are not map instances, you can of course use other matchers in OnData. Just make sure you know what type of objects your adapter is holding. If you're using a cursor adapter, there are convenient matchers available in the cursor matchers class. There's one more case I want to cover, and that's recycler view. Although it works on a similar principle as adapter views, it does not actually inherit from the adapter view class. There's a separate set of methods to work with recycler views that let you scroll and perform actions on its child views. If you want to see more examples of working with views backed by adapters, check out my article on Medium, linked in the description. Happy testing.